Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number one of the the first NAF tournament that we've done on Blood Bowl 2. We've got 10 players, which is pretty good, isn't it? Hopefully by, uh, you know, hopefully we can get a build on this for subsequent, you know, weeks. We could do what, every couple of weeks or every three weeks or every month or something. So hopefully we'll get more people involved um, by like, you know, word of mouth and what have you. Um, maybe we could get Rebel involved, that would be nice. Um, so, yeah, this is it. We've got a, a 10-man Swiss tournament. And we've got first round is myself versus Gdanik, who is Australian, as the name implies. He has won the toss and chose to kick, which I think is a good choice. Um... And yeah, he's got Kemri. I mean, Kemri could be a bit tricky. He's got 14 players and 30 players, so he's definitely going to foul us a lot. And probably going to beat us up a bit. And could be could be tricky. There are draws in Swiss, so, you know. <laughs> and ruins. <laughs> Clever dingo. <laughs> Yeah, I think we, we, it would be good to have it like as a regular kind of thing, wouldn't it? For sure. Yeah. Torpedo in, don't you, with the first round draw? Get your get your draw in early, and then and then a couple of wins, and you're all right. Yeah, they're interesting. I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're tabletop rules um, due to the logistics involved in tabletop, aren't they? They're Swiss because they, they take place over a weekend. People travel and pay to enter, so they don't want people to just, uh, you know, lose their first game and be ejected from the tournament. So that's why they're Swiss. And they're minimal skills because, you know, you can't track a bunch of skills on tabletop very effectively. And they're not in. They're not. Uh, they're not progression because people can cheat and can't be trusted at all. <laughs> so the rules are what they are because of tabletop. But we could indeed change that and make it make our own tournaments. You know, like uh, with more skills and stuff. That's definitely a possibility. Um, so yeah, all sorts of all sorts of things are possible. Right. Oh, there's a there's a dirty player. I can't really blitz him though, can I? Because I'd have to base him. Oh well.
Yes, I had to go AFK for a short period of time, but um, I'm back now. Jim and me to yourself, you <laughs> Dingledorf. I'm not a Dingledorf. Um, <laughs> but no, you don't want a PD against Kemry. No, no, you don't. Um, but thanks for the thanks for the bits. No, I was. Uh, I knew I was. Just, I knew I'd gone silent, but um, I'm back now. Uh, yeah, that was an unfortunate perfect defence, wasn't it? At least I have mostly dodge players on the LS, so I can run the fuck away. I'm stuck on but, the um, bench. Yeah, not not the best start, is it? Not the fucking best start. Von Hilda. I'm stuck under the bench. <coughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> okay, so the plan is to blitz this guy, block this guy, then block the guy, is isn't it? That's that's an obvious plan. Um Let's get him there to protect the dancer a little bit from tackle or mighty blow vengeance. <laughs> yep, that's one at the moment. Getting the assist there. And we've got a 2D. And go there. Boom. That gives us a dancer block as well, doesn't it? So that was a pretty good recovery, I think, from that P Diddy. I don't know why I went back with a the, with the thrower here, as if that was going to be my plan. But, um, never mind. Back with the leader we are. Um, let's have these guys here and here. I guess. And him up there. Von Hilda. I am stuck under the bench. Right. Not a bad turn, that. I mean, got got four knockdowns, considering a perfect defence, and obviously had a bunch of dodge players in contact. So it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to stream very, very light streams on Monday and Tuesday to uh, be ready for the season. I will smash chops again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what uh, I don't know what to play next season, to be honest. I want to do runs that I haven't done runs with before, like races that I haven't done done before. But then also, I'd quite like to uh, qualify with it being for money if I get the FSA two euros. Still on the fence about that. I'm gonna have to think about that sometime. Von Hilda under the bench was um, was Elt meme talking to Azad Hot. Um, because as it hot had um, had a had a tale about his wife having to help him with weightlifting one time, and uh, Alt Meme decided that, that he was stuck under the bench. He wasn't stuck under the bench. He it was a squatting incident, but it was still funny when he and he also his <laughs> as it hot's uh, wife's name isn't Hilda either. But um, you know it was quite funny. Him saying, Von Hilda, I'm stuck under the bench. There you go. Pow. Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> Smash. Right, we can get a 2D here, can't we? That seems like a smart thing to do.
<laughs> and of course, the idiot was the Tomb Guardian. Ute tef tef jet wank. His name's Wank. Ank, not Wank. Ank. You see, it was just it was the it was the Kemri. It was the Kemri player, not the coach. For the millionth time. <laughs> I hate having this on the uh, thrower, by the way. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to offload it from the thrower at some point. Well, I don't need tackle, do I? So I could, I could offload it. All right, let's go. Fuck off, thrower. You don't want the ball. Ah, of course, that's where it is. Of course, that's where I fucking fit. See, this was the... <laughs> oh, God, three tackle zones on the ball. That was the problem. If I'd planned to hand it off, I would have handed it off back here, right? But because I didn't hand it off, because I didn't plan it, and I just spur of the moment thought, oh, I'll hand off now. Uh, that's why I roll the one, and it gets the worst possible scatter, of course. I mean, to be fair, five of the eight scatters were bad, I guess. Three of the eight were really bad. Oh, four tackle zones on the ball, of course. Not three. That's interesting, isn't it? At least I made it interesting, eh? That's how you make a, a game versus Kemri interesting as what else. Instead of the usual so the usual 5-0 win, I wasn't happy with that. I'll, I'll put the ball on the ground and uh, give Gdernik a chance. <laughs> I didn't want to re-roll it. I just shouldn't have done it, should I? I just shouldn't have done it. The, the play was not to have done it. Because I didn't plan it, I shouldn't have done it. If I'd planned it, I could have not re-rolled. Because I didn't plan it, I had to re-roll. But I didn't want to re-roll. So I didn't re-roll it. <laughs> but there you go. Not the end of the world, is it? The good thing is, there's no prizes or anything in this tournament. So, you know, there's no pressure, is there? Yep, I can use rear on the 75% pickup and get a surf as well. So, actually worked out all right, didn't it? No, don't get a surf. Use the reroll on the block, trying to get a surf. That will show me. Never try to surf anybody, Jim. Can't do it. You just can't do it, mate. Don't even try. Don't even fucking try to surf anybody. Already getting how bad by Woody's <laughs> disgusting. Should have had the reroll for the pickup. And the Tomb Guardian's got the ball. So, you know, this is fun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, fuck off. This isn't going so well, is it? Everything you know. Nah, this is just me fucking playing shit, wasn't it? That's all it was. Doing that handoff that I shouldn't have done. Simple as that. Right, I'm going to go and get some food. I'll be right back.
Yeah, a caged, a caged Tomb Guardian on my drive. That's what I get. That's what I get for being a bit of a, you know, making a bit of a mistake. Oh, good. <laughs> hey! Alright, what's this guy? Is this the stripper? This is the stripper! Take the power, you wimp! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh, perfect! Perfect, just where we wanted it. Let's, uh... Give up a million hits. This could only end well. Oh, that's a dodge. Through tackle. Hmm. Oh, sideline report of BZL. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, dear me. Can't! <laughs> God. Herb derp, see what happens. A bit of a mistake. Well, no, I wasn't handing the ball off for no reason. I wanted the ball on a dancer. Um, so my bit of a mistake was... Um, my bit of a mistake was not thinking about the ordering, basically, wasn't it? Um, oh, well, first of all, my mistake was not setting up the, the war dancer to pick it up. Number one. Number one was not setting the dancer to pick it up. And number two was going for the handoff for no reason. But, um... No, I don't want to scatter there because he could easily catch it, couldn't he? So I don't want to scatter. Um, last turn. I didn't want to scatter it. He probably should have tried for a pickup to scatter it. Because he's got loads of players that can catch it. Hello, super kick on me. Red dice underworld BS. <laughs> Is he going to go for another foul? The looker dog. Yes, yeah, he had to do that, didn't he? To stop the, uh, to stop the assist for this block. Um, so now I'm not going to have a blitz after getting the ball. Oh, you cunt. Oh, it re-rolls. Well, the decision to hand off and not re-roll it has really cost me, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, to say the least. Alright, let's get a scatter. Two. 
Two TZs. Doable. Yeah, it was a great, it was a great, um, it was a great meta pick as it happened, didn't it? Well, it wasn't, it was a bad meta pick, but they got lucky draw. <laughs> it's rather maybe what I should have said. Ah, oh, no, I did. I I just fucking played this as soon as I got out of bed, more or less, didn't I? And uh, made a bit of a fuck up, and it's massively, massively been punished. That's fair enough, isn't it? It's alright. No problem. That was me, Dodger. I know he had tackle. Also, the cheeky pickup makes it. He gets his four plus pickup. I couldn't make any. He gets his four plus pickup. Disgusting. Lucky Camry. Lucky. We feel the leap into an armor break. There you go. Cheater, cheater. <laughs> oh, brilliant. People do pay a bit for uh, quite a bit for knock dice. Yeah. Well. 1-0 down on my drive, not good. Mully, Mully DGG, let's drop it. <laughs> no, I wasn't right seventy six, no. I was tempted to go wrestle on uh on Lino, but <laughs> Oh god, I'd like to wake up before the second game. That'd be good. I'd also like not be in pain, but there you go. <laughs>
Sake. Maybe, maybe this should have been a, a BZL steps in kind of day, to be honest. Um, but never mind. Right. Probably no one's going to seriously use a tier 3 team. I mean, probably no one seriously uses them anyway, do they? But even less reason to when um, Cyanide Client fucks them. Well, guess I should have. Uh, guess I should have rerolled that uh, that handoff, eh? Or not made it. <laughs> Do you remember, I do remember when Ben Hoddle came out with that nonsense when he was England manager. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy, that, wasn't it? Yeah, so it'd all be... You know, if they played each other, they wouldn't be able to get anything. They, they could be able to get stuff... Sometimes, if they were playing tier 1 or tier 2 teams, but if they were playing each other, they wouldn't be able to uh, get anything. So, I mean, you could use them, but you would just run the risk of, of that. Stunty. Um, you ignore tackle zones. Mine. You ignore. I don't know. I'm just gonna say what it says. You ignore the minus. The minuses for. Uh, for tackle zones. And you get it turns a nine into a ten. It, you don't actually get a plus one on your injury rolls, do you? It modifies the injury table. Um, but it, it, it effectively means that and yeah and and that too yes right let's go like this so now we've got a an uphill or a three two five let's go three two five. We get the push, super. That fucking, that showed him.
No, so you always just dodge with a plus one. That's what it is. You always dodge with plus one. So if you rage three, you always dodge on a three plus. If you rage four, you always dodge on a two plus. That's, that's how it is, basically. Hello, Skuro. Mine's going shit. <laughs> he was making it 3D, wasn't he? <laughs> wasn't stopping the side stuff. He was making it 3D. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. So, you know. I fucked up, then rolled a one in six fail, and I should have I should have re-rolled it, but didn't want to, and it cost me the match. I wanted it with block though, didn't he? Jelly deals. I wanted to do it three D with block. Come on, man. There's being nitpicky, and there's just being ignorant. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So it's not really plus one to injuries, but it, it's close enough to be plus one to injuries. Like, you know, it, it used to be plus one to injuries, then they changed it. No, no, I just handed it off, Skura. I just handed it off because I, I had the ball on a throw and I, don't, I didn't know why I had uh, why I had it on a thrower. Um, so I thought I should really get it on the dancer. But I thought that halfway through my turn, um, so it wasn't in a safe handoff spot. That was the problem. So, because it wasn't a safe handoff spot, um, I rolled a one, and then didn't want to re-roll it, and then it was just horrible. Um, yeah, it makes nine, it doesn't make a nine a Kaz, it makes a nine a badly hurt. That's what it is in ruins. You don't get injured on a nine, 10, 11, or 12. You get badly hurt on a nine, and injured on a 10 plus still. So that's what it is. So that is the difference. It doesn't make a seven a K or a nine a K. It makes a nine a badly hurt. That is the difference. It used to be. It used to be that it was just plus one, but then it made nine badly hurt. So that's why you'll probably notice skinks getting more badly hurt than anything else, and that is because, you know, um, of the, of the uh, ten results that send make them cars. Four of them are badly hurt, so. You're getting like 7 out of 10 badly hurt instead of 50% uh, badly hurt, aren't you? Draws. We're doing draws. So my only hope is for a draw now, isn't it? <laughs> the funny thing is I fucking, um, I fucking completely recovered from the perfect D as well. That was, that was the worst thing and then I just randomly threw the game. Yeah, don't go sideline anyway, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Really good first turn as well, didn't I? A really good first turn after the perfect defence, and then uh, just threw it away. Skin potato. Ouch. Try CCL finals tomorrow, Skuro Metzo. I believe. I believe it's Sunday. I'll have a look. CCL general. Scheduling. No, it's Saturday. I thought it was Sunday. It is Saturday. 2000 UTC. I thought it was Sunday. Well, fuck me. It is Try versus Dial at 8 pm. Right, we need a big pickup fail here. And three, a 5 plus dodge. Make that dodge. Go on. 
big pickup fail, and then a kamikaze fucking ball things. Oh, that's a shame. I haven't had a chance to draw the pictures for the uh, playoffs yet. Nad. What's Nad? Naf. <laughs> <laughs> Right at the end of Nad. <laughs> right on the end of his Nads. Okay. Yes, of course we root. When we have to get by a tree out of the way, of course we root. Absolutely classic. Wouldn't be a gym maneuver if we didn't fail a crucial route. And we get the knockdown there. That's the thrower fucked up. And, uh, yeah. This is good, isn't it? <laughs> Nada. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't stop him getting into a cage. That was dumb. That was fucking dumb. Squirrel. So that could be a draw unless Nightwing goes for the win. Maybe he won't with it being the first round. Because he's old as fuck, Jellyl. Is the answer. Because he can't be um, Jelly All, that's why he isn't the president. I think if he could have been possible to have been the president, then I think he would have been. Um, I also think that if Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, ran for president, he would definitely win, 100%. Regardless of his policies. <laughs> it would have been great, wouldn't it, if there was an exception for Arnold. Hello, careful. Oh, <laughs> I'm not go going. <laughs> I'm not go going anywhere except out of the tournament. <laughs> well, I'm not because it's because it's Swiss. There's a chance to come back from this loss with two wins, isn't there? And then uh, and then make the top half. Um, I don't know what the rock is. Pink Sonic fan. I don't know what the uh, what the what the rock is. Yeah, Arnie's Republican, isn't he? Yeah, he was. He was. Uh, he was fucking governor of California, wasn't he? The governator. Yeah, the fact that the uh, the fact that the tournament is uh, cut to the top four with only eight people in gives us a, gives us a fighting chance after losing this game. Inevitably losing this game. Yeah, he's my mojo yesterday. Yeah, and he, he 
wasn't popular, or was he? He wasn't popular with any side. He wasn't popular with uh, with Democrats because he was a Republican, and he wasn't re he wasn't popular with Republicans because he just did what he thought was best, <laughs> which was a bit uh, frowned upon, wasn't it? <laughs> The Walking Dead, The Governor. Do you think about the TV show or the comics? I've never read the comics. Oh, wow, he's going for the nine-man cage. <laughs> Fucking going for the meme. And... <laughs> <He's> going... <laughs> 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 Been to that, unfortunately. Fuck. Count! He could, yes, but um, I had a stun player, so I wanted to just pass the turn myself. I thought there's no point committing with less than everybody, so... He can just stand there the rest of the game, yes, but... I have to just base everybody, don't I, like a mad cunt. So, a bit silly to base with everybody but one. Musical chairs. I guess I could have blitzed a skeleton there, couldn't I? I had a blitz on there, I could have blitzed him actually. Didn't didn't bother looking. So now we can go. Oh, fuck! Don't break AB, you twat. Right now we can. Now we can base everybody. Now we can help the base, base, base. <laughs> oh, jelly -o. That's wrong, isn't it, what I've done there?
Base the ball. Base the ball. Up, up, base, base, base. Yeah, the tree fucking rooting sucks, doesn't it? You want to see some lovely 1 in 81s here? In fact, first block 1 in 81 would be great. Yeah, the tree would have been pretty good, wouldn't he, right about now? Yeah. Yes, he would. But then maybe he wouldn't be doing this if the tree wasn't rude. We can, yes, Skuro. We can indeed. How, fuck, how silly of me to not be in commentary. Well, I mean, I say we can. We can if he wants. I'm in. <laughs> he can do it if he wants, but I'm in commentary. Breaking stuff up with raid. No, I just knocked it on the floor. It's not broken. And there's no raid. There's no rage or even disappointment. It doesn't matter, does it? So I'm quite alright. Not butterfingers, I just knocked it off. Uh, uh, good morning, Jim. Good morning, BZL. Uh, if there's one thing I like even less than playing Blood Bowl, it's having to do work. <laughs> so I've just been kind of skipping through the other four games back and forth. Uh, Oriolensis is 1-0 up against Lean Gary, uh, who is now on offense. Uh, they've just now started the second half. They're on turn nine. Right, cool. Thank you. Thank you for the report, BZL. And the yeah. other games? Other games are kind of going eh, roughly as you'd expect. Uh, offenses have pretty much all managed a 1-0 uh, on their first half drive. The one that's uh, most exciting right now, I think, is uh, J5 and Volpe's and Kulta. I'm going to jump back to that. It's 1-1. Uh, J5 went for an early score. Ooh. Uh in the second half so like I said I don't know if he's just uh, he's going aggressively for a win or if he's just uh, ran out of patience and didn't feel like stalling mm. it's now turn 13 there uh, Volpe's has the ball pretty safe uh, and it looks like uh, he's got an uh, excellent chance to uh, sc score and uh, make it 2-1 grind oh Uh, every time I've looked in on the game uh, between Cosmodon and uh, Egypt, uh, something... Oh, shit, I just closed the split bowl, too. <laughs> uh, every time I've looked in on that game, and I'm going to do it again in a moment, uh, something's gone terribly wrong for Cosmodon. He's had some bad luck. I don't know. I haven't watched the whole game, so it's hard to say exactly, but... Uh... I think that that will be uh, just starting the second half also. Well, I've been wrecked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, that was a one in four with a reroll, wasn't it? There was, a, there was some chance of getting the ball there. And then could have got a draw out of it, even with, even with bloody only two, uh, two elves standing. <laughs> <laughs> Could have still got a draw there. But yeah, that can always happen. Uh, to be fair, I haven't actually been paying full attention to your game because I've been looking at all the other ones back and forth. Um, I, I just made a bit of a mistake. And, uh... Yeah, Gdanik is not a guy you can afford to make mistakes against. No, and I mean, plus, I mean, it was I was only punished on a one in six. I could have re-rolled it as well, and then it was so it was my fault for making the mistake and my fault for not re-rolling it. But also bad dice to roll a one in six. Hmm. All right. Uh, Lean Gary's Amazons have failed to pick the ball up on turn nine, uh, the first turn of their offense, and Oriolensis is now flooding Wood Elves towards them. Uh, they've got plenty of tackle zones on the ball, but uh, you don't want it on the ground against Wood Elves. 
Nope. <laughs> they are what they are one nil down, so they are gonna need some some good luck to not go two nil down. Yep. Uh, Squirrel Dude and Nightwind had uh, what must have been a pretty exciting first half. Uh, there were some turnovers. Uh, I, both sides had the ball pretty safe when I looked in. Uh, but Squirrel Dude did manage to score on uh, his offensive drive and prevent a counter. And so now it's just a typical second half. Dark Elves against Undead. The Dark Elves are... Uh, they've lost a couple of players, but they still have the ball pretty safe. So the J5 one is the one we should go to soon, eh? Uh, that'll be just about ending uh, after your game finishes. You're the first one to finish, probably. You're ahead of everybody. Oh, Alright, so... Yeah, the Dark Elves are starting to get under a little bit of pressure here. Hey, we've got the pow. <laughs> and killed him. Ahead as always. Scoring threat. Simply go up and get the ball. Oh, unlucky. Mm. <laughs> uh, J5 and Vulpes are also on turn 15. They may finish just about the same time you do. Uh, who's the slowest game? Uh, there are a couple of teams that have just started in the second half. Well, Volpes hasn't made a lot of progress on his offense yet. Uh, and he's going to have two turns, and he needs to get the ball pretty far forward. So J5 is not going to be able to score. Uh, it's either a draw or Volpes beats him. Right. And uh, this next turn is going to be critical. So I'm just going to sit here and watch. Fair enough. There's no Hexa Skull, unfortunately, so I've lost. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, still the ball's on the ground. Uh, you know, a few turns back, it was in a nine man cage, so. You're making progress. <laughs> yeah. It was a valiant effort. <laughs> oh, Christ. Chain's on. I ain't got the uh, movement, have I? Even with a chain? No. Need to chain him too. Uh, Vulpes just lost his last reroll on Double Skull. But uh, rerolled into a removal, so. This is a silver lining. Yeah. Well, that was quite close in the end, despite uh, me playing shit and, and having bad dice, somewhat bad dice, I think. Um, but there you go. GG. GG, good day, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so fantastic that's the first the first game fantastic would have lost as well isn't that unbelievable I, they, they had, I had I had gone undefeated 4-2-0 before that with uh, well can't last forever enough games and uh, lost to lost to Kenry yeah so um, right Let's, uh, let's end this YouTube video of this match now. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.